hello everyone uh, welcome to this session so in this session we are going to discuss about network configuration commands and in particular um, we are going to look at how to configure a router so when you were, whenever you are setting up a lan or uh, uh, any other kind of network uh, you have to configure the router okay so you have to give some ip addresses to each interface and uh, uh, you have to you may be setting a password or you might be changing the host name of the router etc so we are going to look at all these things in this session so first of all uh, we have router information commands so if you look at the commands everything is having show okay so all these commands are going to give you some information right so we have show version show interfaces show arp that is address reservation protocol table uh, show logging information show current running configuration uh, show tech support okay so let's see how these things work in cisco packet tracer so in cisco packet tracer so at the in the devices panel we have network devices in that we have routers and on the right hand side you are seeing all these routers so i am clicking on 2901 router and i am placing it on the workspace okay so this is the router okay so now if i power over the router you can see the information that uh, uh, we have two interfaces uh, that is gigabit ethernet 0/0 and gigabit ethernet 0/1 of course we have a virtual lan 1 and uh, thing also and you can see host name is router okay and both the interfaces and also the virtual lan does not have any ip address and all the three things are down you can see the link status okay now to configure a router what you will do is click on the router and at the top you have physical config cli and attribute tabs click on the cli tab and this is the command line interface and at the bottom you are seeing would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog yes or no so just type no and hit enter okay now it's saying press return to get started so press enter again okay now you are able to see the router router prompt okay so first what you have to do is uh, to give uh, commands mm, you have to enter a mode called uh, exec mode or privileged mode so to enter privileged mode what you have to do is you have to type the command enable okay so hit enter now you can see the prompt has changed to hash okay so you can see the difference between this prompt and this prompt now if you are seeing the hash that means you are in the exec mode or you are in the um, privileged mode okay so now what we are going to do is you are we are going to look at the show commands so if you don't have any idea of what command you want to give so what you can do is after typing show you give question mark okay if you click uh, i mean if you enter question mark you can see all the show commands so see the command i gave is show question mark so it's like a help command okay and whatever we can give after show is displayed here on the left hand side on the right hand side you can see the description of the command so for example if i give show arp it is going to display the arp table similarly if i give show history it is going to display the session command history that is all the previous entered commands on the router uh, command line interface okay right so here at the bottom you can see it is displaying more that means the list is not completed yet so keep on pressing enter until you see the prompt again so there are so many show commands right now it's completed so these are all the commands that you can give after show these things so many commands are there so let's see few of them so first one is show version 
so what is this command going to do is so if you see here version is going to display system hardware and software status okay so let's hit enter so you will see some information so this is where i gave the command and this is the output of the command okay so you can see uh, cisco ios software so actually uh, the software available on cisco devices is ios internet network operating system so it's their proprietary operating system and this is the software version 15.1 okay and if you can see some other information okay then again you can see uh, rom and again you can see the software version same which is given above 15.1 and here you can see the cisco device model 2901 and it's saying uptime is 3 minutes 30 seconds okay so this is the time that is elapsed uh, after uh, turning on the router and here it is saying system return to rom by power on so this is a normal event so just uh, just now we have uh, uh, brought up the router right so uh, it has been 3 minutes 30 seconds so this is the event okay uh, sometimes if uh, the router crashes uh, due to some reason and it uh, restarts again that event will be noted here okay so instead of power on it will say something some other uh, mm, text will be displayed here and this is the mm, software file which is dot bin okay and some other information is being displayed and still some more information need to be displayed so here you can see processor uh, which is in the router and you can see there are two gigabit ethernet interfaces and there is a dram uh, which is 64 bits wide and there is 255 kilobytes of uh, non-volatile memory and there is this much amount of flash memory i think this is roughly 250 mb okay so let's uh, see some more information so all right okay so this is all the information that is displayed by show version command now let's try to give another command let's say it is arp show arp so actually it is nothing it is not displaying anything why because uh, since uh, we didn't connect anything to the router anywhere so there are no devices actually which are connected to the router so it is showing empty table uh, sorry it is not even showing a table so it is uh, displaying empty nothing okay so in the next next video uh, i will actually connect uh, two lands to this router that time I will give this command again, then we will see what happens. Okay, what information will be displayed. Now let's try to give one more command, which is interfaces, show interfaces. Okay, so here is the command that I give, show interfaces. So actually what is an interface means, it's a port on the router. So if you have two ports, maybe gigabit, gigabit in the, uh, Ethernet ports, that means there are two interfaces. Okay, and for some routers there may be three ports or four ports, then we can say there are three interfaces or four interfaces. So right below the command you can see first interface which is gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0. So first 0 represents slot number and second 0 represents port number. So in, in slot 0 it is port 0 and it is saying it is down. Okay. And this is the MAC address of the interface, uh, 0 slash 0. And so, uh, several other information will be displayed. So go through this. And if we go on, so okay, this, this is the second interface, 0 slash 1. It is also down. Okay. And same information will be repeated. And we will also see virtual LAN 1. Okay. Right. It is also down. And I think that's all else. Yes. So we are seeing the information for all the interfaces that are there on the router. Okay.
and next command is show logging okay so what is this command going to show is it is going to show the information which is available in the logs so you can see this is system logging which is enabled and right to the next of it it is saying zero messages dropped zero messages rate limited etc so why it is all zero means again the same reason we didn't connect anything to this router so there is no information which is passing to the router so everything is zero right so similarly there is console logging which is disabled and there is monitor logging which is also disabled and there is buffer logging which is also disabled okay and we have persistent logging which is also disabled so only thing which is enabled is system logging okay so there is some more yes that's all and next one is show running config so what is the current configuration of the router again this is going to display some information so here is the command that i give so this is the software version and router host name and some other information will also be displayed so spanning tree mode and these are the interfaces uh, virtual lan okay and it is ip classless and so on Yes, that's all so that is go running config is going to give you the current running configuration of the router and last show command we are going to look at is show tech support again this is going to give you a lot of information so here is the command that i gave and this is all the output of show tech support a lot of information will be displayed mm. So it is actually a combination of all the previous commands that I gave until now. So interface information, that's all. So what is the use of this tech support command means sometimes when you are a network administrator and you are working with Cisco devices in the network, maybe some event occurred and maybe a router went down. So you are not able to identify what happened to the router and what is, what is making it not uh, usable or uh, what is making it non-functional okay so what you will do is you will contact cisco customer support and the cisco customer support people will ask you uh, to give the information about the router and immediately you will give the command show tech support and you will copy all this information which is the output of the command and you send the same information to cisco tech support okay so they are going to uh, go through, uh, go over to all this information and they will find out the problem and they will let you know. Okay, right. So that is about the show comments. Okay. And next we are going to look at uh, how to perform global configuration of the router. So to perform global configuration of the router, uh, we have to be in the privileged mode, which we have already done. Uh, maybe I will... Um, come out of this by giving disable so what is the purpose of disable command is to come out of the privileged mode okay so we are back at the router prompt normal mode right now to enter the privileged mode we have to give the command enable okay now we are back on the privileged mode or exec mode and also you can say this is global configuration mode okay uh, sorry not this one uh, so to enter global configuration mode what we have to do is we have to give a configure command and the command we are giving is terminal configure terminal or uh, the short version of this is conf t okay both means same this is just a shortcut of the previous one configure terminal right now you can see the prompt has changed from router hash to router config hash so now we are in the global configuration mode. So you will enter the global configuration mode by giving this configure command, configure terminal. Now let's try to change the host name of the router by giving the command host name space. Let's say the name I want to assign to the router is my router. Okay. 
uh, I think I have typed a spelling mistake host name okay now you can see the host name of the router is changed to my router so the default host name is router okay now I have changed it to my router okay so it's the internal name of the router in a network so host name is the internal name of router in a network now one more command is i will try to give a password by giving the command enable secret password so the password i am giving is one two three four five six okay it's not nl it's uh, enable secret password hit enter okay so the password has been set so how to verify is uh, come out of the configuration mode by giving exit okay come out of the privilege mode by giving disable right we are now again at the normal mode so now if you try to go into the privilege mode by giving enable uh, now it is asking a password so the password is one two three four five six okay uh, it will not be displayed so you you just type the password and hit enter right now i am in the privilege mode and i am going to global configuration mode by giving configure terminal okay so that is about global configuration and next last one we are going to see is router interface configuration so how to configure the interface that is how to assign ip address and how to uh, bring the interface up okay so the purpose of no shutdown is to turn on the interface or bringing the interface from down to up okay so first to configure the interface we have to enter this command right so let's do it interface mm, interface type that is gigabit ethernet slot and floor port okay now you can see here the prompt has changed from config to config if if means interface so we are in the interface configuration and how to assign ip address means by giving this command okay so ip address and the ip address you want to assign let's say i want to assign 192.168.1.1 and since it's a class c address so the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 okay now you have assigned the ip address now you have to bring the uh, interface to upstate so how to do it the command is no shutdown okay now you can see the interface change its state to up okay so Let's do the same thing to the other interface. So the command is interface gigabit ethernet zero slash one. So this is the second interface. And let's change the IP address from uh, class C to class A. So I am giving class A IP address 10.1.1.1 and subnet mask for class A is 255.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. Again, you have to bring the interface up no shutdown okay so the interface change its state to up so that's all mm, this is how you configure different things on the router okay now you can close this and again hover on the router to see yes now you can see that both the interfaces are showing the ip addresses and their link status is up right okay now you can use this router to connect uh, lans so you can connect lans to this router so that is how you configure a router so that's it for this session thank you